hold on, hold on, everybody. Hold, hold up for a second. Right, I, I'm gonna have J-Mo come over here for one second here. But on, the, on behalf of our whole team, we want to thank, thank the greatest home crowd in all year long. Tremendous job. Go Blue. And we also want the, the world's greatest band is going to lead us all with our players one more time in the Victors to celebrate this great event. I don't know. All right, ready? I'm going I'm to start off. One, two, you know what to do. Hail to the victor, valiant. Hail to the conqueror. Hail. 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 Hail to the victor, valiant. Hail to the conquering heroes. Hail. Hail to Michigan, the champions of the West. Go Blue! Hey, everybody, how great is it to cut down nets at Chrysler Center, huh? <laughs> Michigan finishes in this barn 15-3. and three. It's the best since 1992. Congratulations to all of you for making such a difference. Glenn Robinson was huge tonight. How much fun has this been, this ride here at home because of these folks here in this building? It's been a lot of fun. I mean, to everybody who came out, thank you guys. We needed every one of you. Um, you know, with my teammates, no one kind of believed in us when we first got started. You know, we lost Tim, Trey, you know, Mitch went out with his back injury. Um, you know, we believed in each other and we came into practice um, every day with the right, with the right mindset. So uh, we give it up to all you guys. I thank my teammates and everybody. Um, you know, let's keep this thing rolling. You won the outright Big Ten Championship in Champaign-Urbana earlier this week. What gave you the motivation and the incentive to finish the deal here against the Hoosiers tonight? I know personally for myself, I, I'm 0 and, I was 0-3 against uh, Indiana. So we just wanted to come out and win this, um, win the last victory, you know, for J-Mo um, on our home court. And I think that we did a great job of that, of preparing all, all week. You know, we, didn't, we never looked back, um, you know, and we got this, this team got rolling. Last time you guys cut down nets, you were in Dallas and headed to the national semifinals. I know this one may not be as much, but it means a great deal to you and your teammates, doesn't it? This means a lot for us. You know, it's been a long time since we won outright. You know, and we're just proud to cut down these nets. Congratulations, man. All right, thank you. There's only one senior leaving us. You guys did a great job in tributing Jordan Morgan tonight. It's been emotional, hasn't it? it here you go with the question. Um, yeah, it is, man. Just thinking of uh, all the sweat and hard work that we put in. And like I said, to put banners up there, man. We've been working hard ever since I got here. Just this coaching staff and everybody that's come through here, we put a lot of work in, and that's, just, that's what gets me emotional, just thinking about all those, all those hard times that we've gone through to get here. How about what your teammates did for you tonight, making sure you went out with this type of last win at Chrysler Center? And, of course, you helped the cause with your first double-double of the year in the fifth of your career. Um, you know, we, we've been fighters lately. Uh, we, I mean, all, actually, all Big, all Big Ten season we've been fighting back, and, you know, we don't, we don't quit. And, and these guys, man, they kept fighting no matter what, no matter what happened. Um, they, made the, uh, they played a great game. You've got to give them credit. They played a great game, and everybody just kept having each other's back, sticking together no matter what. How far can this team go? Um, as far as we want to. I know these folks will be behind you. Congratulations. What a great career you've had. Let's go cut down some nets, everybody. Michigan, you're outright Big Ten champions.
All right, Karis LeVert has one of the, been one of the biggest surprises in all of college basketball so far this season, but it doesn't surprise his teammates or his coaches with his efforts this year. How good does it feel to climb that ladder and cut down the nets for the second time in your Michigan career? Uh, feels great. Um, coming out in front of a crowd like this on senior night for JMO, it feels awesome. How important was it for you guys to end this season the way you expected to, beating Indiana, knowing full well as a sophomore you hadn't beaten them yet in your Michigan career? Well, this is one of our goals from the summertime to win our right Big Ten championship. And to come in here and do it on our whole floor, it just feels great. You know, you guys are 45 and 4 at home in the last three years. 45 and 4, everybody. And I know these folks play the role of the sixth man. How intimidating has this place been for the opposition, do you think, lately? Well, it's been great all year. I mean, we're on spring break and we still got people here supporting us. So um, it's, it's a tough place to play and it helped us get the win tonight. How does the Big Ten prepare you for the NCAAs? It's one of the more rigorous conferences in all of America. Yeah, definitely. I think we play well all season, though. We have a lot of momentum going to the tournament. Congratulations. Thank you. Folks, Michigan has beaten every team in the Big Ten this year for the first time since 1992. The special season continues. Last year, Trey Burke was the Big Ten Player of the Year. They need an investigation if this guy isn't the Big Ten Player of the Year this year, everybody. Nobody has more 20-point games in the Big Ten than Nick Stauskas, including tonight. How good did it feel, your shot and this win? You know, it, it feels great today. Indiana's had our number the last two years. Um, you know, they, they played a really tough game today, so for us to come out there and step it up defensively in the second half, that was key. How do you guys talk about playing for e each other, but especially for Jordan Morgan? Was that the big incentive tonight? Definitely. You know, it was senior night for him, and uh, J-Mo played one of the best games of the year. He had 15 and 10, and, um, you know, the hustle and just the team play that he had was unbelievable. You're known as a three-point shooter, but this year you put it on the deck and you have really went to the rack doing a better job in that. The start of the second half, you had six consecutive points, including all three layups. How important was that to be aggressive? You know, it's always important for me. You know, today my shot wasn't dropping. Um, it's always key for me to get to the basket and try to be as aggressive as I can. And whether that's scoring at the rim or finding teammates, um, I'm trying to do whatever I can to help the team win. Don't you want to drape yourself in that maize and blue Canadian flag right now? Oh, yeah, yeah. Where's the maize and blue Canadian flag? Let's, yeah, let's see it. If it's out there, bring it to Nick. He'll drape himself, and he deserves it after Michigan picks up their 23rd win of the year. John Beeline now has four conference titles, three outright, and the second one with Michigan, the first outright for him here in Ann Arbor. What are you going to do with that net? I wish I could give it to everybody in this crowd right now. I could wish I could give them all a piece of this. It's Kathleen. Kathleen just reminded me when we came here seven years ago, there was about three or four thousand people at our first game. My son Andy said to me. Tell me again why we came to Michigan. But tonight showed why people come to Michigan. This was a tremendous night. It was a great day, great day. How much do you enjoy, enjoy this because of the guy you brought in and you helped change not just as a basketball player, but as a man, Jordan Morgan? This is, this is a tremendous thing. If, if you knew behind the scenes the, the amount, the dedicated work of Jordan on and off the court, his sacrifice for all his teammates that get guys have gone pro, Guys have graduated, and he keeps plugging away. Nobody puts in more time in the gym than, than, than Jordan Morgan. So uh, he deserved what he had tonight. It was a very special night. Go get your picture taken. Right. Thanks. Thanks.